Hey guys, this is Michael with Double Dunn's Garage. We're going to do a fuel filter real quick on this. Um, it seems like it's starting to stumble and it get into it a little bit and it doesn't look like this has probably been changed in probably a really long time or ever for all I know. Anyway, I'm going to show you what the fuel filter looks like. Um, it's a common issue with stock engine, stock engines like this. Because people don't know where the filter is. <laughs> Literally, they're like, where is it? So they forget about it, I assume. This is what it is. A little tiny guy like this. Some are short as well. There's a one two-thirds this size. And then this is a long one. That's a quarter jet carburetor or dual jet. Um, even Fords do this to us as well. Right at the fuel line inlet, um, obviously, I take the air cleaner off. I'm going to do a completely different video of that later, guys, um, of altering that. Um, right at the fuel inlet, you'll see it right here after the fuel line, uh, but be f um, and after this little really large piece that the fuel line goes into, it's sitting inside a carburetor right here. Um, so you'll want to, as you take it out, you want to make sure you know which way this goes because it won't run otherwise well i don't know if there's a run there's a flow side yeah there's a flow side. because i've done that for trust no, me it just won't yeah won't be happy he actually had on his truck um a new fuel filter put in there they put one in line and he never changed the internal uh, on your 454 yeah there's one that's in line yeah. and they never change the Yeah, internal. and when I put that when I put that one on, there, there's a certain way those go in. Yeah. We'll show you in a minute. Like, all right, so I you'll screwed want, it up. on this, you want a one inch. It's big. And it looks like a five eighths. These are kind of hard to break loose. You'll want to hold this back tight. And you'll want to, mine was snug, I pre- Broke it loose. Just lay on. Reason being, you can twist this fuel line very, very <laughs> easily and ask, ruin it. Ask us and, how we know. Yeah, and that'll make your day bad. Um, I'm doing an upcoming video here of deleting all of this stuff on this engine. All these vacuum lines, like this big vacuum tree here. Um, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this and have a chrome thing on it. Um, you know, just so many things are going to be kind of going away and stripping clean, stripping this engine clean. Great, get the dually too. Yeah, yep. Yes, we got to do a window on his dually and a few other things. So we got to get the dually back up and running. That is a goal for the summer, get it running and driving pre-summer, pre basically. Doesn't take much. Keep watching for a video of the Lincoln getting ready to go to England too. Yes. It Old sold. Lincoln sold. Ugh. And the tools we're doing, using today, are allied tools. <laughs> Old America. Yeah. America. Uh, if you guys don't know by now, we are very much Old Amer American stuff. <laughs> Granted, we have the Marquise. I get it wrong, but still American. <laughs> I'm curious to see how bad this really is. <laughs> it's ever been changed. <laughs> I mean, it could be my choke, but you know what? It would open up if I really got into it, so I'm really thinking. <coughs> oh, and it fell. Did it? There is a spring in there. Yeah, yeah, there is. Be you should know aware. that. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it didn't fall out. All right, so this looks pretty bad. Yeah, bring it out here in daily. Um, okay, as we see here, it comes apart like that, so the rubber goes in there. Yeah. And you're going to get gas all over. No big deal. I did backwards from the time, put yeah. my fuel filter in backwards. The spring stayed in there. You can leave it in there, that's fine. But it goes in like that. And that looks, guys, that looks pretty good. Pretty pretty bad. Yeah, it's good. Compared to the new one. Um, that's how it's supposed to look, and that's how it look, this one looks. And oh yeah, yeah. 
also look inside here. Here's your cleaning clean element. So yeah, it's been there a minute. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's been there a while. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. You could also well, yeah try it to blow on it. So yeah. let's see if. Hmm. Actually, I can't tell if that's the way that how you do it or not, but I can't remember. I think you blow through this. Yeah. I can't remember actually. Anyway, that's that's physically heavier. Yeah, it's, it's been in there. It's a while. old. It's been in there a while. It's been there a minute. Yes, uh, that could very well be factory guys. Yeah. That is that's absolutely nasty. Uh, without blowing in it, without knowing how to do it, it's it's bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a spring. If you look in there real close in the center of it, you'll see a spring down there. I can't grab it with my fingers. You want you want to do it anyway. So we have it the right way. Yep. With the rubber in that way. Going towards the fuel line. Going towards the fuel line. That spring. Uh, be gentle. Do not do this with a wrench. Do it by hand. It'll easily thread back on there. You don't have to be aggressive with it whatsoever. And just hand tighten that. All right. Um, we're going to snug this, and we're going to do the rest of our tightening with the thing. Yes, you got to use wrenches, so you can't use, use a socket on this. I'm sure somebody's come up with a unique way to do it, but guys, it's just, you have to use big wrenches. That's all we have. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Maybe the manufacturer has a special system. <laughs> no way. But anyway, you got to get a snug. So we're working on that right now. All they see is your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So I got that next. I'm gonna leave that right on there. And we're gonna get the fuel line in. Fuel line, once again, same issue. Very important you thread this correctly. It should go thread right in by hand, just fine. If the fuel line's not damaged, bent, or anything, threading in for me just fine. It's almost completely threaded in, and it is. Okay, so in this case, you wanna actually go up against this a tiny bit and tighten that. So I'm putting a little bit of force backwards. And then like that. And then again backwards. So you're kind of working against yourself. Feel like it's tight. It's nice and snug. Let's just clean up our mess and just try this out. Um, don't worry about the fuel that's spilt on the intake. It's already dry. Fuel dries really fast. So <laughs> Not that big a deal. So we're just gonna take the tools, clean up your tools afterwards, clean up all your mess before you even think about starting your truck. You don't want tools going into the thing, but don't put them away because you never know, you might have a leak. You might have, yeah, there's a scope there just laying on the thing. I got a fun thing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fire it up. Make sure that White's gonna check and make sure there's no fuel leak for us here. And cranking. Go ahead. You gotta get fuel pumped up back to back to it. Okay, go ahead. You're good. You're good. No leaks at all. You're good. And guys, we are done. Just put the truck back together and we're finished.
Once again, I said I'm going to do a video of how to do your very first mod. As we can see, this truck is completely all original. Yeah, these these are new, and the fuel and the water pump is. Now, I'm not saying it's been uh, things haven't been changed. But I'm saying it's all original yeah. and never been altered. Yeah. Um, obviously, trailer brakes. You know, that's an alteration. Car stereo. You know, who give, no, that's not what I'm talking about. We're going to alter the engine. Uh, we're going to put chrome air cleaner on it. We're going to put chrome valve covers on it. We're going to change the plugs and plug wires and do alterations there to the distributor um, with a altered coil, stuff like that. So um, electric uh, fan is also going to be here too. Actually, this clutch fan works good. We're going to save save on it, but you know we're going to put an electric one in anyway and probably end up deleting this thing i like to have room an electric fan will have its own uh kind of built-in little area there too you know we show you what pulleys how you how you mod your pulleys for that yes yes that's exactly right so you don't have a the clutch fan um is proven to pull out like 38 horsepower it's a drag of 38 horsepower so yeah you add 38 horsepower yeah on this old engine probably 20 horsepower yeah but oh well Hey, 20 horsepower, it's 20 horsepower back to 305 cubic inches, my god. Alright guys, for Double Dunn's Garage, this is Mike. I'm Dwight. See you later. Bye. Bye.